What is going on guys and welcome to another Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes video. Today we are going to do a video on the Days mechanic. Oh man, this is a great mechanic. And this is a series on how to use the mechanics to help you in the game and how you can use the mechanics to manipulate your teams to get first in arena without meta characters. So there are two characters specifically right now that use days that a lot of people have. One is Death Trooper. His basic grants days to one person. And Darth Maul, his whirling blades, dance days to everybody. Now, what is days? When days is given to the other team, it prevents them from countering, assisting, and gaining extra turn meter. So I'm hoping I can go in and face a Commander Luke team. And what's really nice about that is his leadership ability has all rebels counter when they get hit, especially with a, with a AOE. So we want to afflict days to stop that. Also, Am Amalyn Holdo has days in the game, but not a lot of people have those available, or have her available. So we're going to go in. And there was a Commander Skywalker. There it is right there. I want to show you how I can get this to work against that. I'm going to take out Sith Trooper. And I'm going to put in... I put in let's put in Short Trooper. Let's see how that works. If not, I'll put in death trooper next time but i'm going to show you how you can win by just utilizing the mechanics of the game okay now i am not going to drain some of their abilities yet because they get a big attack so i'm going to try to stun which i did look at that oh he he fractured my thrawn worst case scenario but i am now going to I'm going to give turn meter and I'm going to give this to Short Trooper so he can get a taunt up. So now they're forced to attack Short Trooper and I'm going to be able to see how they counterattack. Okay, this is where I'm hoping to get to where I can get to use Maul again for that for that very reason right there. I can prevent the counterattacks with Maul. So when he gets to go again, let's hope he can let's get a stun, huh? Very good. I stunned all of them. Man, that's that's nice. Okay, so now I'm going to use his whirling blade. This is going to grant days upon all of them, and it's gonna it's going to grant them days. As I, okay, so all of them have days now. So except for Commander Luke, they're not able to counterattack. Okay, I'm going to annihilate Kenobi. I'm going to go back and I'm going to hit Han. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to give back to Nihilus because I want to increase the cooldowns again. And see, see now, Commander Luke was able to, he does not have days. So that's the reason he was able to attack. But now let's keep pressing on R2. Keep pressing on R2. Use a basic with Maul. Okay, he's going to do some burning. Good. This is going well. So I am showing you. This is another free-to-play team on how I can get to first or do very well in the top of arena by utilizing the mechanics of the game. Now, I only got to use the days once, but the premise of what happened when I did use it really came through and it showed how it works. This is a very, very powerful Commander Luke team that's at the top of the arena. And I shut him down with, there's no $400 Scion, you know, I just shut him down with free-to-play characters, and that is the goal that I'm trying to get to. So now I'm going to go into another battle, this time facing the number one team, the Dreadite Training Ray team, but I'm going to have Maul and Death Trooper in the lineup with the day's mechanic, and I'm going to show you it's possible to win that way with free-to-play characters. Okay, now great. I am going to right away swap turn meter with Maul, and I'm going to use this mechanic. Let's see how much days we can get on the Maul, huh? I got days on only two of them, but because of that, BB-8 could not counterattack, which he usually does. That, sa that saved life, actually. So now let's see. I'm going to get rid of... I'm going to get rid of all this stuff with a Death Trooper grenade. There we go. Wonderful. No counterattacks because of the days ability. And I got a good stun on. Okay, so I want to daze Kenobi, so I'm going to hit him with that. Now, he has days too, okay? He cannot be... He cannot be... Cannot counterattack. Now, do I want to save the Fracture for Ray? 
I think I do. I think I do want to save the fracture for Ray. I'm hoping this can work out. Okay. Yes. Okay. I'm going to purposely attack somebody with foresight so it doesn't hit. So Kenobi does not gain taunt. I'm also going to use this ability right here, get some health steal up. And I'm now going to attack Ray, who also has foresight. So when Thrawn can go, I can I can now I can fracture Ray. I had the ability to hold off and fracture her because I kept attacking people with foresight. So Kenobi didn't gain taunt. I'm, people say I may have wasted a few turns, but I don't feel that way. I feel that I actually did it. I did it decently. Now I'm gonna do a basic. Good, 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 good. Okay, I don't like the stun and that my palp's gone, but worse things have happened. Because now I'm going to give. I'm going to give turn meter to Nihilus, who is fractured, so that's a royal screw-up. But let's get some more days. Okay, I got days out there. Look at that. Look what this can do. And now I'm going to just keep attacking Jedi Training Ray. I made a huge mistake in this battle, by the way. Uh, giving a turn meter to somebody that was already fractured, that's an absolute disaster. So if I can come back and win this, that, that's a good deal. Okay, now Thrawn... Thrawn is the person who I'm going to be able to annihilate. I'm going to throw this up there. I'm going to get rid of some all that stuff, actually. Now, get me, get me the ability to... Huh. Let's stun R2, and watch how I can stun him. He has days, so Death Trooper should stun him with that attack. Yes! Now, I get to hit Ray and take Ray out with Nihilus, and now I get to use Death Mark. I'm going to use Death Mark on R2 there, and now I can just I can just start whittling I can just start going after him. Okay, so as I could I, I had a great opportunity to show you how the days mechanics worked. Thrawn cannot counterattack. I'm gonna put more days up there. I'm going to swap me turn meter with Death Trooper again. I'm gonna give this grenade out there. This is good. And I'm gonna fracture BB-8 to make sure that he doesn't come in and use Illuminated Destiny, because that would be the end of the battle. Now I'm going to... No, nope, let's just put the death mark on BB-8. Let's just do this one one person at a time. I feel I feel safe about my win here. So I just want to... I just want to make sure I, I get this done. Have to attack the taunter. Okay, now. Let's see what this does. Perfect. Okay, I am down to only two characters. This makes me extremely happy. I get to reduce... Increase their cooldowns. I get to give death mark... To Mr. Kenobi and this should do a lot of damage yes now I'm going to use a basic perfect as you can see now I'm going to hit auto the day's mechanic with Maul allowed me to beat this team a Jedi training Ray team with a very unorthodox lineup free to play players I just got to first with that lineup okay so remember that Anything is possible. I hope you remember this. I hope you look at that and realize that it is possible for anybody to get there and that days is a great mechanic. So peace out.